Uh, it's been it's been kind of fun. Uh, it's been a lot of long days, but uh, it's been it's been kind of fun meeting new guys, uh, do some different schools. So it's been it's been fun. It's been kind of competitive. We ain't bench yet or nothing yet, but just meeting new teams, meeting new guys around the country. So it's been all right. Uh, it's a lot of teams I met with. Uh, I can't even really remember. It's all been kind of a blur a little bit. But uh, I had meetings yesterday with uh, the Chiefs and uh, the Buccaneers. That was two formal ones I had last night. Uh, kind of going back a little bit to the Senior Bowl and also here. Uh, what, what's the counter like with you and Baker Mayfield regarding the flag? Did you talk about it here at all? Uh, no, I haven't seen him here. Uh, just the whole thing with the flag, just – Walked up to him and just, you know, asked him, you know, what was his problem? But I, you know, but uh, it was all good. He just laughed it off, and uh, you know, we we've been we've been cool since then. I don't I don't know what what he was on, but I, I was kind of serious. You know, you know what I mean? Like me and Taquan, we won't we won't plan, but you know, we, we charged it to the game. We just kept you know we kept it friendly after that a little bit. Uh, me coming from North Virginia, man, and going to Ohio State, probably one of the best decisions I ever made in my life. Uh, I feel like the people at that program really developed me into a man, and uh, being a team captain at Ohio State this past year is probably one of my biggest accomplishments, and uh, I thank everybody there that helped me get to that point. Uh, well, I played the year before, but uh, I mean, is any it really doesn't. I don't feel like play had to do something with captain. I feel like I always, you know, remain solid throughout the locker room and treat everybody in that building with respect. And, uh, you know, the last two years of my career, me playing a lot, just helped it even more for me to be a captain. I feel like uh, these drills, 40, bench press, everything here, just to show everybody I'm versatile. I'm, I'm a big guy that can also run. And could play a lot of a lot of positions on the on the football field. So I'm just out here just showing what I do on film every, every Saturday. Try to get it to Sunday. Uh, it was a great experience. Uh, NFL coach thought like an NFL coach, and uh, I feel like everybody every coach we had at Ohio State they treated it like a NFL team. Ohio State was a, a mini NFL team in a way. So when I go to these NFL teams now and we talk, it's the same deal. I learned them them traits at Ohio State to act like a professional there. So when I'm here, it's second nature. It's really nothing to me. Yeah, it's just, you know, to see those familiar faces around, because it's, it's them long days like we had last night or oh, yesterday, you know, them long days from 4 a.m. getting back to your room at 10. But, you you know, you're around your teammates, it kind of like brightened up the mood a little bit. So. Uh, I'm proud of the guys that's here, and I'm glad they're here with me going through it. I haven't really, I haven't gotten any crazy questions. Uh, I'm a pretty, I got a clean slate, so <laughs> I ain't really had nothing crazy to ask me about, you know. Yeah, every, every time. <laughs> I hate playing. Every, every NFL team asks me about the Iowa game. What happened? And I just look at him like, <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm still trying to find those answers out. What happened? I mean, is there any answer at all for something? I don't even want to. I mean, I, they, they played the best game of their life. <laughs> so, I mean, that's all it is. We didn't we didn't come to play that day. They came to play. Uh, I feel like they, like I said, they played the best game of their life, and you know, the score showed it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I was talking to him this this morning. Uh, Cam was one of the older guys when I got in as a freshman. Uh, he made the transition a lot easier for me. He was an older guy that you could talk to and can, you know, actually he understand. He wasn't so hard on the young guys. He was actually, you know, it was a great he, he was a great help at, when I was there at Ohio State, and he, and he still is. He still, you know, give us give me and Sam and Taquan tips about what to expect from these NFL teams. So he's just always been a good leader for us. Uh, yeah, no, nah, just just Cam. Uh, 
uh, just just believing in me, uh, coaching me up, uh, not, not letting me slack. And uh, he always believed I could be, you know, a versatile player that I am. And I just say that alone, him being believing in me made it a lot easier. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Coming, coming in from a freshman. Oh no, I, I, I didn't know that was the plan. It was <laughs> crazy thing how it happened. Uh, before my junior year, coach, I'm watching film, and Coach Johnson just walk in like, "You want to play three technique on third down?" Cool. <laughs> just went from there, and I just, you know, guys like Tracy Sprinkle. Coach Johnson, they, they they made it you know easy for me to go in there, and then I just started becoming a master of that. And by my fourth year there, it was second nature to me. Yeah, so uh, when I got that job from Coach Johnson, just asking me, I immediately started watching guys like Joey because he had slide in a uh, Dolphins Washington who with the Buffalo Bills. He was a great three technique for us at Ohio State. So just watching those two guys that I played with practice game film helped me helped me a lot. Uh, I feel like I'm real comfortable with all the. At the end of the day, it's pass rush is pass rush. One just closer to the ball. So that's how I treat it, and I feel like that's what makes me so good at it. Yeah, I, I had a, a, a meeting with them last night. Formal. Yeah. No problem. How much and also kind of who a Michigan fan, Ryan? Oh, oh, well, I never lost to them, so I don't got no problem with them. They probably got a problem with me, though. So. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, it's that's a great rivalry. I feel like it's the best rivalry in, in college football. And to say that, like, I never lost to them, I don't know what it feel like. Every time I – like, it's a guy from Michigan here, I just see him and – I don't even have to say nothing. He already know what it is. Like, <laughs> I never beat Ohio State, so it's cool. I mean, I like I like bragging about it a little bit. He basically the, he that coach that don't wear sleeves when it's two degrees outside. Like, <laughs> he uh real energetic. Um, he's he's a man of faith, and uh, he's he's been helping me a lot especially the last two years, and he brings a lot of energy no matter what day it is or how bad practice is going. Uh, Coach Combs is the one that's going to bring the juice. Jalen, how much do you enjoy going through this process with Sam Hubbard right alongside you? It's like a long game here as well. <laughs> uh, it's cool. It's, it's, it's real cool, man. Just a test to you know, the Ohio State football program. Man. Uh, we got three guys who potentially can, can go high in the draft. Uh, and Christopher Rowley here as well. Uh, it just it just it just shows how great Ohio State football program really is. That we can all go through the same stuff, even though we are technically not teammates anymore. Uh, um, I feel like a lot of a lot of the guys that's there, that's in the NFL now that I played with, just just try to take it one thing at a time. So just don't worry about the draft next month. I still got the combine, uh, pro day, so just just taking things one thing at a time. Yeah, uh, I feel like I already proved that I'm real versatile and just you know me running good, D line drills, doing defensive line drills, and uh, the little bit of linebacker drills as well, just to put the icing on the cake. Just you know really show that I'm athletic and I can really move around a lot. Uh, he, he, them guys being here with me really shows the bond that we really had at Ohio State. Uh, it shows that he was a great leader for us, and he, he really taught us fundamentals for the football field and fundamentals in life. And uh, I feel like we all picked those up and we, we took it with us to the NFL. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing defense. I'm doing linebacker drills tomorrow too. How different is 
Uh, I really think it's not that much different. Uh, I played a little bit of linebacker at our different packages we had this year. And uh, not linebacker, but standing up. So, I mean, football, football, man. <laughs> and if you, you feel like you could do it, just do it. So that's, that's what I want to do tomorrow. Does it help you feel more comfortable going into this process because you already went to the senior bowl and already had a chance to do some of the Yeah, so this wasn't my first time at the combine meeting these NFL teams. So I kind of came into the combine knowing what these NFL teams going to ask. Uh, know I had to practice on getting the board work, all that other stuff. So the senior bowl actually helped me out a lot preparing for the combine because here at the combine, you meet with the, you know, your, your position coach and at the senior bowl, which is scouts, but still the same question, still, still the same, you know, type of vibe. So it helped me out a lot. I couldn't hear you. Oh, it, it wasn't it wasn't hard at all. Uh, I mean, like I said, football, football, and it's just something I've been doing my whole life. So I knew after the combo, I had to, you know, still keep keep in shape, keep working out, and then just keep going from there. Uh, I have a, a little informal interview. Yeah, just just a little informal. Who? Okay. Uh, JT, a quarterback, man. <laughs> uh, um, he he's athletic enough, to, you know, to escape the pocket and make plays with his feet as a quarterback. I see him as a quarterback in the NFL. Uh, he won a lot of games for us at Ohio State. He broke a lot of quarterback records at Ohio State, so I really don't see him moving nowhere else, but he is, a, he's, he is an athlete too, so uh, I feel like he's a quarterback first and an athlete second when it comes to that. I mean, I, I'm always a real confident dude, so uh, it really didn't add to it, it just, you know, I felt like it just showed that the whole world that I could play, just as Anybody else here? Uh, I feel like I'm one of the most versatile defense alignment here at the combine. So uh, a senior bowl kind of like kind of showed that as well. What position I want to play? <laughs> like, would it be three technique or you know five? And I, the way I answered it was just anyone that get me on the field quickly as possible. So that's it. Yeah, so uh, rotating with Taquan, Nick, and Sam uh, really was a, a great thing for me. Uh, we all got quality reps. We all we did our thing. We won games, and uh, we all played fundamental football. And uh, one thing that happened, one thing that helped me is we all stayed healthy. All of us out here are healthy. Uh, we went through the medical field great. So, I mean, NFL, I may have to rotate a little bit at first, too. So it's nothing, you know, I'm not going to be, it's not going to be brand new for me. Uh, I feel like I can come into the NFL team and I got to rotate, I got to rotate, uh, but still can uh, contribute to the team. It's cool to be next to my, that's my, that's my twin brother. Yeah. <laughs> it's good though. It's real good. Uh, I came in with Sam. Uh, Sam used to give me rides to practice. Sam was the only one with the car. So like, <laughs> I remember Sam always wanted to be a whole two hours early to everything. We had a workouts at 5.30. He knocked on the door at 4.30, even though the Woody 10 minutes away. So like Sam has been my road dog since I got there at Ohio State. Uh, and I don't know where I'd be because he, he was my little Uber. For real, for real, freshman year. <laughs> so that's my man. Yeah. Thank you very much. No problem.